Also breaking, the suspect in the church massacre making his first court appearance in Charleston, South Carolina just a short time ago. Prosecutors say 21-year-old Dylan Roof opened fire Wednesday night at a church in downtown Charleston, killing nine people. Now, sources telling NBC News the gunman nearly decided not to go through with the attack after spending an hour inside that church. Yeah, and it was a very emotional day in court, as you might imagine, for as victims, families got a chance to speak. Seven's Johnny on Thompson joins us live in the newsroom with the latest. Yeah, that's right. The judge actually set Roof's bond at a million dollars. Now, the accused mass murderer appeared by video from jail. He's facing nine counts of murder and gun charges. Six women and three men were killed in the attack. Now, during the hearing, relatives broke down in tears while they were giving those statements. One relative even says she forgives Ruth. But South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley stressed the suspect should get the death penalty if convicted. She called the ambush pure evil. Meantime, the Justice Department is investigating whether to file federal hate crime charges. Now tonight, Charleston will hold a vigil at a sports arena near the church where all this happened. People have been putting flowers and notes at a memorial in front of that church. The mayor says a Mother Emanuel Hope Fund has been set up to help pay for funerals and other family expenses. In the newsroom, Jody on Thompson, 7 News. I want to take a